Got some tiny whoop stuff. Bunch of these frames. Blades. Tiny whoop batteries. Some cameras. Oh, dude, I didn't know they were sending this. Oh, I'm so psyched about this charger. Oh, hold on. Well, tiny whoop flight controller. Bunch of uh, bunch of motors for whoops and stuff. All that stuff was a nice surprise. All I thought that was going to be in here was were these batteries. Okay. Well, we'll come back to the battery thing. Ah, this charger. But look how small it is. All right. I think I think today's video is officially going to be about chargers because. I do get asked which chargers I use, and I like the chargers I have, but I just haven't been like particularly enthusiastic about them, like at least not enough to bother to. Okay, this is probably the charger I use most often. It's a Venom dual channel. Um, gets the job done, it's fine. I just, I don't love it, but when I got it over a year ago, I thought it was really great value for the money. Served me well, it's fine. I've got this charger which pretty much lives in my car. This is just another older Venom charger. This is like my first charger. I've had this for, for years. It's been fine. This will be taking the place of this in the car for sure. It's just got XT60 connectors for input and output voltage. So uh, if you want to charge in your car, you would need to get a, um, a car plug and solder on an XT60 connector. You can get these plugs at like automotive stores or online. I've got some stuff so we can... Gotta swap this for... Okay, my balance board now has an XT60 connector so it can plug into the output. And we can get this in there. And then to power it, I've now got my cigarette lighter plug thing to XT60 and then that. There. Okay, so the charger is all hooked up to do some in-car charging. Now the charger itself is capable up to like 300 watts or 14 amps, but the accessory plug on your car probably can't handle that. So like check the fuse in your car. In this truck, there's a 15 amp fuse and at 12 volts, it's like 180 watts and we're gonna be charging at like 17. So that gives me about 10 and a half amps, but you have to subtract some because there's power loss and blah, 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 blah. Like I should be able to charge at about eight amps safely. I did crank it up to nine amps just to see, but the plug was getting really hot. Even at eight amps, it was getting kind of hot. I think keeping it down around like six amps is gonna be more safe. At six amps, that's enough to fill a parallel board and charge six batteries at one amp each, or I've got four plugged in, so that's like one and a half amps each, so that's one C for the 15. It's pretty good. But let's say you wanna charge at more than six or eight amps. Well, your next best option is probably going to be hooking directly up to the battery itself. So I've got some alligator clips and an XT60 connector. And that should let you charge at a much higher current than if you're just using the, uh, the accessory outlet thing. But I will say that a LiPo fire, like in your engine bay, would be fairly catastrophic. So. I'm not gonna run it like this. I'm definitely gonna get like a longer piece of larger wire so that I can run it from the engine bay to the ground because that's, that's, not, that's not ideal. Now, if you don't have a car or don't want to use a car to charge, you can still charge on the go because you can actually just plug a battery into this. That's why there's a XT60 connector. So you can just use one battery to charge more batteries. Obviously, if you use one of the batteries you're gonna fly with, to charge other batteries you fly, you're not gonna get very far like that. So what you want is like a really big battery that's going to be dedicated for charging your smaller batteries. All right, so last thing is, how do you use this charger to charge using like wall power? Um, all you need is a power supply that takes the 110 volt AC and converts it into like something DC. So we'll get a 12 volt. Where's my phone? All right, so Amazon to the rescue. I'm ordering a power supply that should be here in like 
two days later. In less than 20 minutes, I'm going live on Let's Drone Out, which is a podcast. I would like to give you a massive thanks for coming on Let's Drone Out. Uh, and Clinton, have you had anything to say? No, it was a good show. Clinton. It was pretty good. Um, they didn't give you more, like, take the bell fleet out batteries? Or oh, yeah, they gave me a ton. That's, this. hold on, this is what this, the video, I'm supposed to finish this. I filmed half this video already about, oh, God, I didn't have um, this, which came today. This is actually so you can charge in the wall, and this is just a, um, this is actually just an Xbox power supply. Can't wait to amps, though. Um, this. Where's my cell phone? This can provide 135 watts. Let's say 135, 135 watts at 17 volts that we charge at. No, that's not right. Hold on. About eight amps. It's probably about right because there's an there's an inefficiency there because you got a 12 volt power supply, and 17 volt charging. Yeah. So I guess because this thing will go up to 14 amps, which is fine. I mean that's that's awesome, but um, yeah, 8 amps is still pretty good. So, you get this power supply. It's only $30. Um, this plugs in the here and this plugs into the wall. And all you have to do is cut the Xbox connector off and solder on a... Okay, it was not quite as straightforward as I was expecting. I thought there would just be a plus and minus 12 volt, but there's actually four wires and two of them were a signal because it's gonna be plugged in. Point is, you just had to short out two of the wires. For this specific charger, I had to connect the green and the white wires together, and the black and the red were the 12 volts that will power the, the charger. Um, it wasn't too hard, so if you get the exact one that I get, hopefully that's the right color. Okay, so yeah, it works well. You just have to be careful about the current at which you're charging because even though the power supply can output 10 amps, that doesn't mean your charger can charge at 10 amps because you're changing voltage. So I found that charging at higher than seven amps, I was getting the power supply to reset. So that seems to be the safe limit. Um, so you can get a better power supply for this, but like this one's pretty straightforward to get going and it's cheap, so. Okay, I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover about the charger. So while we still have some sunlight, we're just gonna fly the, the go-to park. And we're gonna close, ooh, it is dark. Look, is that, there, that's better. We're gonna close this one out with food. You'll never guess what we're eating.
Uh, we had tacos. I got carried away and ate them all and forgot to record it, but they were really good. Were your tacos good?